Hello, eagles, and welcome back to art class. What is a concertina, you ask? Well, this is what it is. It's art that folds up like an accordion. And it's really neat because it can be both like a little book or something that could stand up by itself on a shelf or table. Let's make one together. Let's plant a concertina vegetable garden. For our project today, you'll need some thin cardboard that you can cut. I flattened out a Cheez-It box and plain paper, scissors, pencil and eraser, and something to color with. I'm going to use markers. So for the soil of the garden, we need a long rectangle of cardboard. I am going to cut these flaps off of mine and then cut it in half so it's about the width of my hand. Now I have one edge that's straight. And when I shorten my box, I'm going to make my next edge wavy. This will be where I plant my garden. The box already has a place where it bends. So I'm going to start there, but then make some more folds. I'm going to fold this back like that. You need to press with something to crease the box. You can use the handle of your scissors. And fold it in the same place there. Mine has some extra folds in it because I pulled this box out of the recycling, but I'm just not going to worry about those. I'll just straighten them out. And I think I might trim off the ends. There, that works beautifully. Now you get to decide what you want to plant in your garden. I think I'll plant some carrots. The carrot is shaped like that. And you can just make a mass for the leaves. You don't have to draw every individual leaf. Okay, you know how I tell you never to scribble? Well, guess what? For your carrot leaves, you can scribble. But you see how I'm not just going back and forth, back and forth, or around and around in circles. I'm going in little zigzaggy shapes. It looks more like leaves that way. What about a radish? A radish is round, maybe kind of like that, and it has roundish leaves.
I'm going to use the raspberry color for the radish. Let's grow some potatoes. If you'd like to draw a cabbage, there's a really fun way to do it. Make a circle on your paper, and then we're going to make a curve inside the circle that makes it kind of look like a moon, like a crescent moon. And then we're going to put another one on the other side, like this, it kind of makes it look like one wraps into the other. Now we're just going to make wavy lines going around and around, getting bigger and bigger. And we're going to bump them out. So starting anywhere, I'm going to start here. Make a bump. Dip back in. Bump out. Dip back in. Bump out. And I'm going to come around and touch the top of this one. And then make another bump, go way around, and touch this one. Then make another bump, and go way around, and touch this one. And you see how big it gets very quickly. And you can stop whenever you want, or you can make more that are separate. Make a bump over here, make another bump here. The whole shape is kind of round, and if you think this looks like a rose, that's a good observation. It's a very similar growth pattern, except a cabbage, of course, is a lot bigger. So when I color it, I'm going to keep it light in the middle and get darker as I go out. I could even leave this white, but I think I might use oh, just a little bit of yellow. Of course, these markers are really bright, but that's okay. Um, and then my lightest green for the center of the cabbage. And maybe I'll make this one light green and this one light green and this one. But then as my leaves get bigger, I'm going to use the darker green. Easier to control to control short strokes of color. I'm trying to decide if I want to make this green in the middle. I think I'll make it yellow. And then see what that does. It should be a little bit different color. 
I suppose that's a little bit lighter. Wherever you outline it and you have two layers of color, it's going to be a little darker, so. It could be like some shading, a little bit of shading. Now, darker. I think I'll add him to my potato plant. He's coming to this flower. Now I feel like my garden is complete. It just needed the honeybee. I can't wait to see what you grew in your garden. Until then, take care. I'll see you again soon.